Hello you two, how are you? I'm Who's Afraid of Eric Norting. Maybe a little bit late to the dance, but I'm going to do my top five tobaccos of 2015. No easy task, uh, as there are many tobaccos that I enjoy uh, very much, but I think I've narrowed it down to the five that I've enjoyed the most so far this year. I'm drinking some 13 Guns. It's a uh, IPA, terrific tobacco, a tobacco, beer. I picked it up at my, uh, there's a local store here in Kiev that sells a lot of foreign goods. And this is where I saw it. I thought I'd give it a try. It's really quite good. It says on the back, intensely hoppy, rich uh, mouth feel, malty flavors with soft tropical fruit aroma and taste. Um, a salute to the original 13 states of America. Again, if you like IPA, if you like hops, give this one a try. It's really quite good. Anyway, let's get to the list. My top five tobaccos for 2015. Now, if you've watched any of my videos before, my first choice, which, by the way, these are in no particular order, is one that you would have seen a couple of times, and that is Robert McConnell's Oriental. I think it's a very underrated tobacco. It's uh, very medium flavored. It's, uh, it's a great all day smoke. Uh, I can't say enough good things about this tobacco. I smoke this all the time. And I think it's going to be one of my top uh, favorites for a very long time. I, I really quite like it. It's similar to McClellan's Balkan Blue. And if you like that, you'll probably like this. So when people ask me a couple of tobaccos to re that I recommend, I always recommend this this to anyone. So again, Robert McConnell's Oriental, very good. And one that's very similar to Robert McConnell's Oriental, and I'm actually smoking right now in my Nirup, is a very popular, or famous, I should say, tobacco, and that is uh, Butera's Pelican. Um, I was lucky enough to get two tins of this off of smokingpipes.com. You know when they put those alerts out that they have uh, in stock notification, I should say, alerts? Well, I was one of the lucky people to get two tins of this, and I really like it. It's very similar to Robert McConnell's Oriental. Uh, it says on the front, it's an English Oriental traditional ribbon uh, style mixture. Really quite good. The difference between this and Robert McConnell's Oriental, and I can taste it right now actually, is a tangy aftertaste. It's almost like a fruit topping now. By no means is this an aromatic, it's certainly not an aromatic, but it, it has this tangy aftertaste to it. I really quite enjoy it. It's very refreshing, as uh, strange as that might sound for a tobacco. Anyway, I have uh, one tin of this here with me in Kiev and another tin of it back in Canada aging, and I only smoke it when um, it's like for a treat, such as now, in celebration of doing this video. But as I said, it's got this tangy aftertaste, like a fruit, like a tropical fruit aftertaste that I really quite enjoy. It's, it's, it's a great tobacco. I wish it was uh, more readily available because it would be an everyday smoke of mine. Sorry, just trying to keep this lit while I'm talking. It's a little bit difficult. Um, the next tobacco I want to recommend, the third one that I've enjoyed quite a bit, it came to me as a sample uh, from, uh, from Mr. Alan Godwin. Uh, it's called uh, Rainy Days and Mondays by Rich's uh, Cigar Shop and Magazine out of Portland, Oregon. He has a website. Check it out. Um, I took the liberty of writing down the description from the site of Rainy Days and Mondays, and I will read it to you now. It says, Don't let the Latakia and the aroma fool you. This is a well-balanced English blend with medium-bodied Virginias serving to counterbalance the distinctive spice of Latakia. Now, there's a lot of Kia in it, and you can certainly taste it, but it, by no means is it strong. So if you're one of those people who like Latakia, but like more of a mild Latakia, this tobacco is perfect for you. I really like it. Uh, when uh, I got the sample, I smoked it in about a week and a half, and, and uh, if I wasn't leaving for Ukraine at that time, I would have ordered a pound of it. I think it's absolutely terrific tobacco. Again, rich cigar store and magazine. Just Google it. I'm sure you can find it. I found it. You should be able to find it. A really, really good tobacco. 
a really good all day smoke. Um, I like medium bodied uh, tobaccos. Uh, I don't like strong flavor. I don't like strong nicotine content. And if you're like me, and I like a, I like spice, not overwhelming spice, but a little bit of spice, a little bit of kick to the to the tobacco. And uh, again, rainy days and Mondays, terrific stuff. Okay, number four on my list is a bulk tobacco. If you watched my last video, I received four ounces of it. It's by Peter Stuckaby. It's called Balkan Supreme. I might have some of it here. Uh, a great all day smoke. Again, just like uh, Robert McConnell Oriental or Pelican or Rainy Days and Mondays, not overly strong, a little bit of spice to it. Great stuff. Great all day smoke. If you're new to pipe smoking and you sort of want to try something a little bit different but not overwhelming, this is really good stuff and not very expensive. Uh, Peter Stuckaby makes really good bulk tobacco. His, uh, Bullseye Flake is one of my favorites. Uh, I have some proper English, which is very popular on the YTPC. And again, really good stuff, Balkan Supreme. If you haven't tried it, give it a try. Again, not very expensive. And the last one on my list is a tobacco by Cornell and Deal. And one that uh, Public Piper is a, is a big fan of. And that is uh, Sunday Picnic. Now this is a Flake tobacco, very light. It's got uh, Virginia's combined with Perique and Izmir Turkish. Again, like the other tobaccos, not overly spicy, not overly powerful. This is a great tobacco for summer. It's uh, light. It's friendly. You know, if you're if you got if you want to smoke in the heat, this is a great tobacco. It has a little bit of spice to it, so it makes it a little something interesting. Uh, you know, uh, more interesting than say, or like Golden Slice or something like that. Uh, really like this stuff and I this stuff will age very well I have about three or four tins of it back in Canada aging and I'm curious after a couple of years how it will taste again Sunday picnic Cornell and deal really good stuff okay thank you very much for watching this video I've been wanting to do, to do this one for some time as I said I'm gonna to try to do more videos here in Kiev I've been wanting to do some outdoor videos but it's been just stifling hot outside Every day it's been thir between 34 and 36 degrees Celsius, and it's just too hot to be smoking a pipe outside and shooting a video. But as soon as the temperature drops, I'll do a couple of videos outside and show you a little bit of Kiev, okay? Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'm going to relight this and finish this bowl, and uh, I will talk to all of you very soon. Thank you very much.